Uh, this is within a designated state land area. And a designated state land area, when developed with compounds mounting up to 2,000 compounds, cannot be taught by anybody. Because when you talk of a designated state land area, it means ownership is by the state, the government. And when it's developed and people start paying rents, up to years of 15, 18 years, nobody can challenge that place. Man, my yeah. compound is not touched, it's, it's not touched. demolished. It's but if somebody else's compound is demolished, yeah. I will yeah. feel it as if mine is demolished, because we are neighbors. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an action that uh, Israel didn't do to Palestine. Mm -hmm. This is an action that South African whites did not do to South African blacks <laughs> during the apartheid time. <laughs> A place that's already developed up to 2,000 to 3,000 compounds. Recent settlers coming from villages in the country trying to shake hands and come with the highest level of falsehood to demolish up to two to 3,000 compounds with support of some bandits is illegal. And uh, Almighty Allah is aware of everything. The former government, nothing like this happened. They, they would not attend to that. Because we knew the man was talking about the city-state status of the Gambia. That compound will connect and villages will connect and the Gambia will come a city-state. During his time, nobody will demolish. So if elections are done and somebody wins, I think that person should also be aware of the importance of his leadership as president with his government to avoid illegal activities by intrusers and usurpers.